Hi, Tim Cant here, and in this video, we're going to take a look at WavTools Library, an easy way to access all of WavTools sounds and features in one place. The library allows you to quickly see and use all of WavTools loops and samples, instrument presets, chain editor devices, and AI skills. You can also use it to see your personal samples that you've used with WavTool and add your own VST plugins. Using the library makes creating music in WavTool fast and fun, so let's check it out. Here we have a new WavTool project. If the library isn't open, we can access it by clicking the arrow button in the library panel. By default, the All tab will be selected, and this shows you everything in the library in one place. We can focus on specific categories in the library by clicking the other tabs. So let's click on the Loops and Samples tab to add a sample. I want to see all the sounds included with WavTool, so I click WavTool Packs to expand it. To open an individual sample pack, again, I just click to expand it. I open WinWav Volume 1, and I can audition the samples by clicking them. I like Arped Beauty, so I drag it into the project. I can also drag loops into the Conductor WavTools AI Assistant, which I can bring up using the Conductor button. I drag Arp Beauty into the Conductor chat and click the Send to Conductor button. The Conductor asks me what I'd like to do with this clip. I'd like a drum part to go along with it, so that's what I ask for. The Conductor analyzes the part, then composes some drum beats to go along with it. Now, I could ask the conductor to add a drum track to play this drum part, but this time I prefer to do it myself. So, in the library, I select the Track Presets tab and open the Drum Instruments category. I'd like some chilled out drums to accompany ArtBT, so I want to use the Chill Drums kit. This can be dragged into the project too. Now I drag in a drum part from the conductor. That's not quite right. Let's try another one. Okay, that sounds great. The next tab is plugins and devices. And in here you'll find two categories, VST and AU plugins and WavTool devices. VST and AU Plugins does just what you'd imagine and allows you to use VST and AU Plugins installed on your system in WavTool. This is a really powerful feature and we'll explore how it works in another video. In WavTool Devices, you'll find all of WavTool's instruments and effects. We can add these to the project in two ways, either by double clicking them to add them to the selected track or by dragging them onto a track. So let's say I want to add an oscilloscope to the master track. The first way is to select a track, then double click the instrument or effect and it'll be added. Okay, you can see the oscilloscopes there. Now I'm gonna delete it so I can show you the second way to add it, which is by dragging it onto the track. To use the oscilloscope to visually display the master's output, I route the master fader's output to the oscilloscope's input, make sure it's the selected device and we get this visual display. I'd like to make a bass line to go with my guitar and beat, so I asked the conductor to convert the Arped Beauty sample to MIDI. Add a new MIDI track with the plus MIDI button and set this to mute as it doesn't need to be audible, but having the MIDI in the project means the composer can analyze it and come up with something musically relevant. I drag the guitar MIDI onto the muted MIDI track. I want a bass guitar instrument to play this bass line, so in track presets, I open the bass category and add the bass guitar track. I open Generate Audio in MIDI and click the Composer button. Now the composer will give me some suggestions for how the bass line should start. I pick the one I like and keep adding MIDI until the bass line is done. For more on WavTool's AI composition features, see the Making a Track with AI video. The AI Skills tab features many more powerful tools, and we can access these from the Conductor chatbot as well as the library. 
Currently, the conductor chatbot is already open, but you can open and close it yourself using the conductor chat option. We can interact with the conductor chatbot via text, and we can ask it to do all sorts of things, including all the AI skill tools listed in the library. So, for example, we can drag an audio or MIDI clip into the conductor. To do this, right click the clip, drag the clip from the menu into the conductor, and click the Send to Conductor button. Now we can ask the conductor chatbot to work with this sample. For example, we could ask it to split the sample into stems. Let's check out one more AI skill before we're done. And this is a pretty important one, especially for new users. I open the Help and Tutorials category and click Help. This will bring up a panel in the conductor that displays information on whatever you put your cursor over. So this is a great way to quickly find out about something in WavTool that you're not already familiar with. Thanks for watching. You can check WavTool out at wavtool.com. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later.